here's a hard topic. Buy, don't rent. This is a this is really tough. Cause I'm gonna be a hypocrite. That's okay. I'm American. I can be a hypocrite. Can I? Well, the reason why I say I'm a hypocrite because I have rented. I have rented furniture, TVs, apartments, uh, houses, condos. I have. And it was 100% the wrong thing to do. Now, you're saying, well, if I'm a college student, I'm just out of college, I don't have enough money to buy a condo or buy a house. What do I do? Well, if you have the option to go live with your parents, I would say go do that because, you know, as Americans, when we hit the age, the golden age of 18, we always look for what? Independency, right? We look for, we need to branch out, but maybe that's the wrong method. Maybe that's the wrong mindset to have. Maybe we need to stay home. It would come right from college and maybe we're, we're 24, 25, where we accumulate enough cash to put a down payment on a condo, put a down payment on a house. Cause I look at other cultures, right? Asian cultures, uh, the Indian culture, uh, all these different cultures, they live with their parents up until uh, their mid twenties. Now granted, I know some people who in a the culture, they, they still live in their parents' goddamn thirties. I, I know as Americans, we ain't gonna do that. But right home from college, you take a year or two when you're right home from college and you get yourself together. Or granted, you didn't go to college and you went to trade school or you just graduated high school. It doesn't matter. Hopefully your parents will let you stay with them a couple of years. And I know some of you are like, I get, I got to get out this goddamn house. These people are driving me crazy. But listen, you've been dealing with them for 18 years, dealing with them, deal with them a little, maybe two or three more years when you turn 21, 22 to build up your money in order for you to have your own. Renting has kept low income people and low poverty people in low poverty and poverty stricken neighborhoods because we are renting we are not buying and our parents our mentors uh, 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 the people we look up to they never put an inclination an idea and a thought of buying now most of them some of them have of buying so we don't know how to struggle now if you're going to rent and I know sometimes situation dictates what you're going to do. Whether you stay with your parents or move out because sometimes parents just put their kids out. That's a different story. Then go find a roommate. There's a lot of people looking for roommates online. Save your money. And some of you are like, oh, I've been living in my parents' house for this long. I just want my own. Well, hold on. Please hold on. If you got to get a roommate to be where you want to be because you at where you at, then sacrifice. We need to learn how to sacrifice because we should be looking into buying, not renting. You are losing money. When you're buying a house, that house is building equity. You're putting money into that house, okay? That house starts to build the value and the house is more than it was when you bought it. But when you rent, when you put, when you pay your rent, that apartment is not more than what it was, okay? And this is another thing about renting. This is another thing. Don't you hate when you do that one-year lease? And you know why they do one-year leases. Very, very few places do two-year leases because they know next year they're going to go up on the price. They're going to go up on the rental price. Like, my my monthly payment at one apartment was eight fifty, okay, and that included my car parking spot because I guess me having a freaking apartment at the apartment complex wasn't good enough for me to get a spot to park my car. I had to pay for that too because it would have been eight twenty five, and I'm like I'm paying twenty five dollars to rent my spot. So I'm not only renting my apartment, I'm renting my spot. I'm off of it, and so they went up to eight sixty five. They went up. $15. Okay. They went up $15. And I, and I went into the uh, office. I said, excuse me, my rent went up $15. I said, yeah, everybody's rent went up $15. I was like, why? That's like, well, the people in there, they didn't know, right? They're like, well, that's just what the, the owners put out. I'm like, so they just decided, hey, we're going to go up $15. And this is the thing. They called me in to sign my lease 
And I said, no, no, I moved. Not because I didn't understand inflation. I did. I just like, they didn't even know why my rent went up. They're like, hey, you have to sign this new lease. Your lease is coming at the end. You got the last 30 days. Rent went up $15. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? $15? And some of you are like, that's not a lot of money. When I'm paying $850 for a one-bedroom apartment, and they're going, I'm almost paying $900. $900 for a one-bedroom apartment. Listen, I could have bought me a condo with that amount of money. I could have probably bought me a small house with that type of money. I should have been buying, not renting. Some of you in these high urban city neighborhoods, let me name them, D.C., New York, Atlanta, Seattle, Boston, San Diego, Los Angeles, okay? All of these coastal places where everything is much more expensive, okay, than a few places in Texas. Buy, don't rent. Even if you have to live with a roommate, even if you have to live with your parents, save your Skrilla and buy, don't rent. I am tired of us getting ripped off, people. Okay, I am tired of us getting ripped off as a people because this is the thing. A lot of people like to make things racial. The only thing racial about getting ripped off is green. Because white people rip off white people, black people rip off black people, Hispanic people rip off Hispanic people, Asians, I'm pretty some, I'm pretty sure some of them rip off some of them. I, I don't know. But the point I'm making is this, buy, don't rent. Buy, don't rent. This is Ross World where I know the era of my ways. I am much older. I'm much wiser. So take my isms, take my mistakes, take me not knowing, take my ignorance as your bliss and be profitable and buy, I'm out.